So you use five gallon buckets to water your chickens and you're also using water nipples so they can get the water from it. And you go out to fill the bucket and this is what you find. I'm gonna show you how to fix this without having to buy more buckets. Hey y'all, I'm Renee and welcome to Tater Town. Some of you use water buckets and these water nipples and this is a really great way to water your chickens because it, it eliminates a lot of the mess of them stepping in it, pooping in it, getting feed in it. So I really like these, but a lot of times what happens is, you know, it's plastic. If you screw them in too tight, it can cause splits in the plastic and it's expanding, it's contracting and the chickens are pecking these. So that creates an issue with the surrounding plastic and they're notorious for leaking. Now it's not the nipple itself that's leaking, it's cracks in the plastic. And I know some of you out there are probably like, well, just go buy a new bucket. Well, I'd be buying new buckets at least once or twice a year if that's the case, because they do really split a lot. In fact, you can see here, this is what's going on. Now this is the biggest one on this bucket, but I've got small split there, small split there, and one here. So all four of them, even though only three of them are leaking, all four of them have these splits in it. So instead of buying all new buckets, yeah, they're maybe between three and $10 depend. I know $10 seems like a lot, but if you're ordering them online, you're probably gonna spend $10 a bucket, especially if it's food grade. Even if it was three or $4 a bucket, I don't wanna have to keep buying buckets and then I don't really wanna waste it. Not to mention the solution to this it's fairly inexpensive. Bryson. The solution to this is fairly inexpensive. Sorry, he just keeps. The solution to this is fairly inexpensive and you'll be able to fix multiple buckets many times over with something as simple as this. This is a silicone adhesive and I will show you how I apply it. The other bucket that I fixed, I did both inside and outside. I'm gonna try it first just inside and see how well it works because if you do it on the outside and the chickens see it, they're gonna peck it and they might peck it off and eat it. I don't really want them to do that, but this particular RTV 4500 is food grade. So once it dries, it is safe to use in areas where there's food. I'm gonna wear a glove because I don't want to get this stuff on my hands since until it's dried, it's still hazardous. Uh, I think I only had leaks in three of them, but I'm going to do all four anyway. This is the worst one. You can see that crack right there. Okay, so it's okay if it goes on the hole. It's just going to make it a little bit better. Yeah, extra stuff here. Just remember, the thicker you put this on, the longer it's gonna take to cure. The instructions say 24 hours, but keep that in mind, how thick you put it on. I'm only putting it on the inside right now, and after 24 hours, I'm gonna check to make sure I don't have any leaks. So I did end up having to seal all four holes, and this one was the worst one, which I thought this one was, but this actually had three cracks in it, so it took me like two or three times to get it in the right places because I kept missing the extra cracks that were there. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this with water and show you that we no longer have a leak. I should have shown you with the leak so you could have seen I did have a little bit of a fail. So I filled the bucket up to about here. And as you can see, there are no leaks. Now again, you do not have to use this brand of silicone sealant. I chose this because it's, you know, eco-friendly, it's USDA and NSF approved for being near food. You can find any silicone. I would just make sure that one, it works on plastic, two, that it can be used near food. That way you or your chickens aren't exposed to the additives that they put in a lot of the other silicone sealants. I know bathroom sealants usually have some sort of mold inhibitor in it. Couple more things I wanna mention. Look, the reality is if the cracks are that big and they go you know, pretty long, you may just have to buy a new bucket. This really is for small cracks and it enables you not to have to go buy new buckets or waste buckets. They still have usefulness, but just like the buckets, this isn't gonna fix the problem 
for the rest of the life of this bucket. That plastic is still being exposed to heat and cold and the pecking of the chickens. So just like the bucket failed and got cracks in it, the silicone can also fail. So you're probably gonna have to treat it more than once. I couldn't tell you how long it lasts. It depends on how hard you are on these buckets and also the environment that you're in. The other thing is a lot of the times the buckets crack because of over tightening these water nipples. Turn it as far as you can without it turning it too hard and if you don't get any leaking, stop there. Don't keep turning it because that contributes to cracking the plastic. And don't mistake the bucket leaking for the water nipple leaking because those can leak as well. And sometimes the O-rings in the back uh, fall off. So you might have to buy some extra replacements for those. I will put a link in the description to this sealant if you want to use it, but by all means, find something that works best for you, especially if this is not available where you are. And I hope this helps some of you out there who are frustrated with buckets that keep leaking. And if you like this video and you found it helpful, please hit that like and subscribe and notification bell. It does help me to keep presenting information that is helpful to you, and I really appreciate it. Again, thanks for hanging with me here on Tater Town. Let me know in the comments if you've tried this or if you have any other ideas that have helped you fix leaky buckets. I'm all ears because I really hate when this happens. Thanks again for joining me. You'll be able to fix a lot of buckets over and over again with a jar this big. A jar, it's not a jar.